Hi, I'm AJ, and it's a good day. Welcome back to the Extraordinary Times. Just going to jump right in. First story of the day. Throw back to a while back wherein we said that Hugh Laurie was going to be the new bad guy in Robocop. Well, that's kind of been nixed. To replace him, we now have Michael Keaton, as in Batman. Okay, I've never actually seen, like I said before, Robocop, but this actually makes me excited to see it. I actually do want to see Michael Keaton as a bad guy, see if he can pull it off. I might actually check it out. You should check it out. Production starts in a month, so... We'll get it soon. And on to our Republican National Convention news. First off, there's been a little bit of buzz going around because they had a secret, or at least it was going to be secret, a speaker that's going to speak tonight. People have been throwing things around saying it's going to be this person, it's going to be that person. Most likely it's going to be Clint Eastwood. He was flown in secretly to Tampa just this morning. Probably going to speak tonight. I'd catch it if you can because, well, it's flipping Clint Eastwood. And it's just... But it's going to be awesome. If you saw his commercial day in the Super Bowl? Yeah. And speaking of awesome, turns out there's a couple conventions surrounding the Republican National Convention that really, I guess, a lot of people wouldn't expect. Namely, the Log Cabin Republicans and Geo Proud, both of which are gay conventions who are Republicans as well. This is actually pretty cool to me, simply because it shows that really the lines are not as defined as people would like you to think, for one. And two, there are people that see that there are things on the left that just really they shouldn't be holding to. And there are a lot of good things on the right. And maybe just a, with a little bit of shifting, it can become a lot better party. And for our last bit of political news, on over to Hanson, Massachusetts, where there is a sign that's been put outside of a business depicting a young girl with her, well, middle finger shown to the world, now covered in packing tape, along with the words, Thanks, Obama. You've spent my lunch money, my allowance, my inheritance, 35 years of future paychecks, and my retirement. You jerk. Vote Mitt Romney for 2012. Wow. I, I don't know if this is a good thing or a bad thing, simply because it, it, it is getting the point across, but come on, using a little kid with the middle finger to the air? Ah, uh, not in good taste. Now, there's a lot of debate going around, because some people are saying, well, yeah, it makes a point. Others saying, it's offensive. Legality is going around whether it's, you know, First Amendment protected or if it just needs to be taken down. Overall, I think it gets the message across, but could do the same without the picture. So, meh. Now for something completely different. Sports. Well, kind of. The Miami Dolphins just played against the Dallas Cowboys and, well, lost terribly. Of course, the Dallas Cowboys. No, I'm not biased. Anyway, <laughs> And they were about to fly home, and the plane was taxiing around, you know, trying to get out to take off along the runway, when it clipped another plane. It damaged the, the tail, put, putting both planes out of commission. Ah, oh, just absolute debacle. It was actually two 767s. And just delaying the return. This has got to be horrible. Right after losing a game and like right near the beginning of the season. And then having this happen? Ah, uh, Dolphins, your bad luck is still around. And now for science news. Because, you know, I love my science. NASA in particular, though not Mars. Actually something a little more disconcerting. They poked up their, their nose up into the sky with their WISE telescope, the Wide Field Infrared Survey, and have found black holes. A lot of them. A lot more than they expected. 2.5 million, to be exact. Now, when compared to the number of stars out there, that it's actually kind of a small number, but these are actually super massive black holes, like the ones you'd find at the center of galaxies, much bigger than your average black hole. So, to know that these things are zipping around just willy-nilly, kind of disconcerting, most likely won't have to deal with them, but yeah, there's a possibility. Now for some positive news, because I want to step away from black holes for a bit. Research has been done recently into chocolate. Yay! And it turns out that eating chocolate, or at least for men, reduces the risk of stroke by up to 17%. Now, we already knew that dark chocolate also improves cardiovascular health, so I'm thinking there might be a correlation here. But still, this is some really good news. Stroke actually happens more often in, in men. And so to know this, that this candy can actually help, is really a good thing. 
So yeah, eat the chocolate, guys, and back downhill with a little bit of kind of agony, but in a way a good thing. And in a way, I'm glad Jeremy's not here because I think someone might get hit, namely me, just out of frustration. So up in Chicago, there was a man taking a bit of vacation with his two daughters, and you know, went to the Picasso statue, then his daughters loved the statue, so they're like, okay, cool, we'll go there. When another man by the name of James Gates started walking up, at first, this dad didn't really think much of it. Some people walk up to ask for change or cigarettes or something like that. Except that this man just kept walking up with much more purpose than he should have. Dad started getting a little nervous, and James started going towards the daughters. At this point, the dad kicks into instinctive mode, protects his daughters, put his body in between them and this stranger who starts claiming that the the girl is his daughter just completely uh, protects her in any way he can until police come fortunately the, the guy did give up eventually and was arrested faces filing charges of kidnapping but really i'm surprised that the dad held back and, and didn't try to kill this guy for trying to do something like this a lot of strength on his part and just glad everything turned out okay well kind of okay girl's still having nightmares but at least she's safe. And for our last story of the day, over in Ohio, they've received a new billboard, one from actually a personal buyer rather than a company, states, please hire my wife. Uh, what's actually going on here is this man is trying to help his wife find a job. She lost her job a while ago, about the same time everybody else did. Has just been searching for the last like six months. And he is just getting so frustrated. He wanted so much to help her. They used $700 to buy a billboard, put her name up there, and put a, an email for her uh, to uh, get in contact. She didn't actually know about any of this until it went up and saw her face up on the billboard. But now it's done. She's like, okay, it, it, it's done. I hope this actually works. Good luck to you, especially in this economy. I know you can get a job. I did. Just keep pushing forward. Thanks again for watching Extraordinary Times. Join us again tomorrow. We'll be both Jeremy and I. Like over there. Favorite over there. Subscribe over there. If you're watching on YouTube, please watch on YouTube. Share us with your friends, Facebook, Twitter, Google+, Plus, whatever you use, because that's how we get better. That's how we get important messages like we have today out into the world. And always, be aware. Actually, read the article first.